A shared drive on Google Drive gives you an excellent place to put files you want to make available to a team. File ownership works a bit differently on a shared drive than it does on my drive. For example, when you type doc.new in your browser, you create a new Google Doc. By default, this doc is private and stored on my drive. My drive contains files you own as well as files you may access. Your new Google Doc is yours and remains owned by you even if you choose to give other people access with the share button. But if you use one of the G Suite editions that includes shared drives, you have another storage option. You can move your doc as well as other files to a shared drive. When you move a doc from my drive to a shared drive, file ownership changes. The file moves from being owned by you to being owned by the shared drive. Members of a shared drive may access files on a shared drive. And shared drive files remain available to members of the shared drive even as team membership changes over time. To create a new shared drive, open your browser to drive.google.com. Select Shared Drives. Then select New and enter a name for your shared drive. To review or change who has access to a shared drive, choose Manage Members. As you add members, make sure to adjust the access levels appropriately. As of July 2020, access levels include Viewer, Commenter, Contributor, Content Manager, and Manager. If you're not sure which to select, I usually suggest Contributor, which lets people add and edit files but not move or delete files. See my article at techrepublic.com for more details. Do you use shared drives to collaborate with other people? Let me know what your experience with shared drives has been, either in the comments or on Twitter. I'm Andy Wolbert, at AWolbert on Twitter, for Tech Republic.